welcome to some sunny dunes in Nor Woolacombe, North Devon. I'm with the Aurora for its maiden test flight on the dunes. Now, I've got to be honest with you, uh, I went on holiday for a fortnight, hence the cold, and uh, I managed to get out onto a sand dune just to give it a chuck onto the ground. Um, I'm going to leave those results at the end uh, because I don't want to waffle on now but the C of G where I thought it was and the C of G where we've ended up has been nothing short of a miracle and I'll talk more about that at the end because I know you guys and girls are going to want to see this flight. First flight first soaring flight. Now, you can see the way I'm stood, we've got about 20 degrees off, it's slightly southwest. So, here we go. Right, now then, I've put some up trim in. I've put a lot of up trim in, actually, which I'm surprised at. But look at this, she is, I mean, there's hardly any wind. Look at that. Wow. Be nice to get some little bit of height just to see. Let's do some, see if we can get a bit of height just to get some pitch stability. Uh, testing done. Right, let's just get this out over here. It's very, it's not over responsive on the elevons at the moment, but I've done that deliberately. Um, right, let's just bring it into wind here. We're a little bit low. Let's just, right, it's very positive in pitch. Just pushing forward there. Um, I think we can do with cheekily taking some more weight out, you know, I, I, I alluded to at the start that I did a, literally a chuck off a sand dune and I ended up having to remove loads, well, I ended up sticking 30 grams on the tail, right on the trailing edge. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I've just increased the elevon throws for left and right, I've left the pitch as is. And I've got full up trim at the moment where she's flying beautifully, but I think we just need to take a little bit more weight out the nose. Oh, that's better on the controls, yeah. That's nice. Wow, uh, honestly folks, I have four miles an hour Possibly five, I'm being racy, and it's off to the southwest. It's off by 20, 30 degrees. This is, I'll, I'll be honest here, this is outperforming the uh, Dune Freak at the moment. And my Dune Freak has always been my go to in very light conditions. Right, I'll tell you what I'd like to do is I think I'd like to land this, and then what I'd like to do is I'd like to take the nose weight out. Possibly. I mean, it's very, it's very dull in pitch. Look, as I move that up and down, it's very dull in pitch, which is not a bad thing for a test flight. Uh, but I would like to make it just a little bit more racy. I'm just amazed this is staying up as well as it is, quite frankly. Uh, no trouble with visibility. If anybody's saying, oh, you're gonna, it's all clear, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, you can see with this, it's... Uh, Absolutely fine. Yeah, it's a little bit too dull. Oh, look at this coming across here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Right, so tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pop up here for a second. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to land this and I'm just going to take just a few grams out of the nose. <sighs> it don't get any better than that. 
<laughs> right. Seven grams out of the nose. Sounds a weird amount, but that's what that piece of uh, lead was. Let me just see how this goes. Wow. I mean, I've taken that out. That's nice. That is really nice. Oh, oh, oh. the one thing I said don't do got behind me All right. All right so I actually think the issue is I might have that's a bit better now I wonder if I've just overdone the control movements a little bit but that is that is feeling beautiful What I was just slowly doing now is, um, I'm happy with it, I'm just dialing in some down trim. She's flying a bit faster, a bit more efficient. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at that. In these conditions, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, <laughs> touch the grass. A uh, couple of things I want to do. I want to do some gap seals. So I do think that making this gap seal is going to make it better. I think the other thing we need to do is I need to look at the uh, tail boom. That's fine at the moment, but I can't really experiment with the length of the tail boom at the moment because of the, well, as you can see now, it, I'm right out of wind. And uh, I'm going to be walking on the sand dune shortly at this rate. I want to get a permanent, some sort of permanent fixture for the uh, boom. So things to do. We want to fly on a windier day. Get some more height, get some, have a go, proper pitch stability test. I mean, that at the moment, to give you some idea now, that is actually into wind. Um, there was a seagull that was flying earlier. I was rather hoping he was going to come back. So, gap seals. We need to look at elevons. We look at, need to look at the um, tail boom. But I've got to say, I am mightily, mightily impressed. Uh, this on a bungee is going to be mega, I think. Look at it. I mean, this is, it's 30 degrees off. Look, look at the wind. It's 30 degrees off. It's blowing five to six mile an hour. And look at this. Lovely. I think it will loop on a sixpence. Uh, I think the barrel rolls are going to be good, but I don't know until we actually give it a go. But at the moment, it's not giving me any danger. Oh, here we go. We've got some seagulls coming. Could we get lucky? Right, so that beautiful woman waving at me down there is my wife. My time is done. So I'm now going to just bring this in for a landing. Let's just go down here. You can see, look how fast that's going downwind. Right, let's see if we can lose a little bit of height here. And then let's just bring this along here. Right. 
Oh, don't get any better than that. Don't get any better than that. Right. Right, fantastic. Right, okay, so um, we are going to reconvene this test flight. As a slope sawer, as a slope sawer, it's absolutely superb. Yeah. <sighs>